What's up guys? EMY7 here, back in it. We're gonna do a cooking video. It's been forever. You guys have been messaging me non-stop. When you do that cooking video? We do cooking videos. You know what I said? You should make some more cooking videos. I know it's been like 10 years since I made a cooking video, but we're gonna freaking do it. I had a subscriber for every person who asked for a cooking video and have a million subscribers right now. <laughs> I'm gonna make some today. If you guys have been following my Instagram, you know I've been in keto since like September. So everything, all the vids I'll probably make are be like low carb stuff. So go ahead and hit that little bell notification if you guys want to see the cooking vids. I'll try and put them out as much as I can. Uh, but let's go ahead and make this shit. It should be easy and good and low carb, so let's do it. The ingredients for this is gonna be pretty straight up. Like I said, it's gonna be like a sesame uh, chicken noodle thing. These better than pasta noodles have like uh, super low carbs, four grams carbs for a three fourths of a cup and it's four grams fiber, so it like pretty much cancels itself out. Uh, but they're pretty good, so you can find these at most health food stores. Two chicken breasts. I'm gonna use uh, coconut oil, minced ginger, minced garlic, soy sauce, uh, Simba Oli, which is like a chili paste, green onion, cilantro, and anything else. Everything I'll put in the descriptions down below, and I don't really cook by measurement, so we're just gonna be kind of free balling, so I'll do my best to save the measurements, because you guys are always like, oh, it's a measurement. I don't know, just don't worry about it. It'll be good, guys, and I'll, everything will be in the description, and I'll do my best to guesstimate. But uh, this should be low carb and easy, and we're gonna do everything in one pan because I like cooking, but I don't like doing dishes. So let's get to it. All right, guys, just to make this as easy on ourselves as possible, we're gonna cut up the cilantro and the green onions first, uh, and then cut the chicken so we only have to wash this effing cotton board once. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up, set them aside for later, and then uh, we'll cut the chicken up. When I do the cilantro, I like to do the stems and all, so we'll just go ahead and cut these cilantros up, stems and all makes it better. All right guys, now we'll do the chicken breast. I usually just cut them down the middle and then just cut them into strips. Now that we got the cilantro and the chicken prepped, like that's the hardest part of probably this whole meal. These little noodles come uh, in a bag like this, sealed with some uh, liquid. So all you have to do is like cut the bag open, we'll put it in a strainer, you're supposed to like rinse it off with water for a little bit, but we don't have to cook these or anything. Uh, we'll just add them in later and I'll show you guys that, but it should be pretty easy, like the hardest part's done. We probably got about 10 minutes to make the rest of this, so let's finish it up. All right guys, I promised one pan, so we're gonna do everything in this one pan. I uh, got a little bit of coconut oil in here, I'm gonna melt that and then we'll go ahead and put the chicken in. Mm, let's add them breasts. I'm gonna add some black pepper and some pink Himalayan salt. We're just gonna cook that up until it browns up, guys. You can also put just a little bit of soy sauce on there if you want, just add a little flavor. Now that our chicken's all set, we're just gonna transfer that to a different pan so we can finish in this pan. So into the same pan, we're gonna add about four tablespoons of coconut oil. Add one tablespoon sesame oil. We're gonna add about a tablespoon of garlic, another tablespoon of minced ginger. Go ahead and let that brown up for a second. Add about two tablespoons of soy sauce, about one tablespoon rice vinegar, one tablespoon of stevia. Stevia is just a fake sugar replacement. Go ahead and just mix that up. A teaspoon of the chili paste. Set that up so it's simmering real nice like that. Once it's all simmering, we can go ahead, turn the heat down low, and we're just gonna take those noodles dump those right in and we're gonna take the chicken and dump that in and now we just mix everything up to coat and then just let it heat up for a little bit to let the noodles heat up and now that that's all cooked we'll just add our fresh cilantro and green onion go ahead and mix that all in So there we go guys, some easy sesame uh, chicken low carb noodles. Perfect if you're on keto, super easy to make. They usually taste even better the next day. Uh, great as leftovers, so boom. Go ahead and put some sriracha on that and enjoy. Thanks for watching guys. Again, hit that notification, follow the Instagram, Ian187, if you guys wanna see more recipes. Hope you liked that one, it was super easy. Like I said, it's just an easy low carb meal. Uh, Try to get the coconut oil in there to get some extra fat for keto, but Thanks for watching guys, try it yourself. Let me know what you think. Suggestions in the recipes, follow me, uh, hit the notifications for more cooking vids because I'll try and put them out more consistently uh, since I cook like every day. So if you guys don't follow my Instagram, Ian187, I'm making stuff all the time. So if you guys see something on there you really want a recipe or a video on, go ahead and comment on that and I'll try and get that vid out for you guys. Thanks for watching again. What are you doing on cooking